Guys, how are we? We're doing another simple video. Today I am making some amazing fish that I got today from Donegal Prime Fish. They're a local producer in uh, Derry, Londonderry. They're in Skeg Industrial State. Go over and see them. They do online collection that you can go in and get it. And really amazing fish. So I've got some fantastic girdered, okay? And then what, I've done, what I'm gonna do is lightly season it. With a little bit of salt, a bunch of pepper. Hey guys, as I say, I call over and see them. Amazing, amazing fish. Just check, uh, there's, I left the number on my Facebook page, or you can just Google it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a simple chickpea stew as well. So absolutely lovely. Here's a little tip as well from a good friend of mine, Sam Connolly from Sam Connolly Fitness. This is an extra virgin olive oil. Sometimes we can use too much extra virgin olive oil. And I'm trying to look after the belly because Jenny, you put me under pressure. And what I do is, what I've done here is extra virgin olive oil in a little spray and I've infused it with some herbs, so some garlic, some rosemary, some thyme and a little bit of lemon zest. So give my fish a little spray like this. And this fish is absolutely stunning. And then what we're going to do, Jen, if you want to come over, we're going to cook this in the pan. Look how meaty it is. Girder for me is a beautiful, beautiful meaty fish. And we want to, we want to hear, that's what we want to hear. This lovely sound. And if you don't hear that, guys, take the fish out again and just get the pan a little bit hotter. So straight into the pan. Look how beautiful and stunning this is. And this is a little smaller fillet, so I kind of keep at the side of the pan so that doesn't kind of cook as quick. And then what we're going to do now is get my hands a wash. Give a little season again. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Right, so that is cooking, and you can just see how fresh that is because as soon as it hits the pan, it's kind of bounced up. Look at that. And look, don't worry about that, that will then relax in and it will kind of come down again. So that is on. Fish is cooking, and this fish will take roughly about five minutes. In here, Jim, roll back over. In here, guys, we've got. This is the base of the chickpea stew. So all I've done here is, I have fried off in a cold pan, I got two cloves of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, and I started to fry off the uh, garlic until it was golden. Then I added a couple of carrots. If I had a bit of celery, I could put a bit of celery in there. If I had a couple of onions, but I don't have any onions, I'm using all carrots, which is grand. And then what we're gonna do now is, back over again, Jen, yeah, sorry. You're back over again. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do here now is, we are going to add, this is some smoked paprika. And whenever I add any sort of spice, I kind of give it a little bit of a cook off to bring out the flavor. So guys, paprika, smoked paprika, paprika is fine. If it didn't have that, you can add a bit of cumin, a little bit of chili. I'm just kind of want to toast this off. And the smell is absolutely lovely. And then I am just going to use a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree, okay? And once again, whenever I add tomato purees, you want to kind of just give it a bit of a toast. And guys, once again, if I didn't have tomato puree, some chopped tomatoes is fine, some fresh tomatoes is fine. But I've got some to chop. And the smell is absolutely lovely. You can see that fish, guys. I just kind of, I haven't, I haven't touched it. And then, what we're going to do now is, I am going to add to this, I am going to add some pepper. So, this is the pepper juice. This is just a tin of roasted red peppers. If you didn't have that, normal fresh peppers is fine. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the, it's like the juice of the pepper. And then I'm gonna give this a little chop. Just rough the kind of. This is basically three roasted red peppers. And as I say, guys, if you didn't have roasted red peppers, you could use uh, some, some peppers yourself. And just roast them up, just a little char grill. That's their peppers. And then we're going to add the peppers to this. Look at this, look at absolutely lovely. You can see that I haven't touched the fish at all. And then, better heat, that looks great already. And if you wanted, you could add chorizo to this. If you wanted to, you could add a bit of chorizo, a bit of smoked bacon. But we're just going to keep it all nice tonight. I'm going to add two tins of chickpeas. One I have strained. I want to have it. I'm going to add a little bit of the juice to make a bit of the sauce. Okay. And then we basically are going to get this. Oh, this looks absolutely gorgeous. 
back up to the heat a little bit. And we're going to add just a touch of hot water. Like so. And then I'm going to bring this to the... Looks absolutely lovely. Really, really good. And that's how simple that is. And we'll just check our fish here. So we're going to give it a turn. Looks really, really lovely. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Stunning, stunning fish. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of spray my little extra version before it goes into the oven. Like so. so I'm going to place this in the oven roughly about three or four minutes. And then I'm going to check my stew here. Hey guys, look, as a chef, I kind of know when it's cooked. I just kind of, I sort of press my finger underneath and it kind of just presses. If, another way as well, it's just getting a little uh, toothpick. And if you put that toothpick through the thickest part of the fish, Jen, you'll like this actually. Put it through the thickest part of the fish and if there's no give, it's ready. So it's absolutely great. So, because sometimes we can overcook our fish and it's very simple because even when I was a young chef years ago, I would have give that fish another wee minute or give it another five minutes. That's when it kind of overcooks. And when you get me, Check P on the heat here. I'll give it a little taste, Jennifer. I'll get a spoon here. Because this is our tea. All these videos that we're doing, Jennifer, starving. So we're ready to eat. So this is our dinner. Really, really lovely. I'm going to add a bit more salt to that. Which is here. A little bit of pepper. And then what we're gonna do, Jen, you're gonna get a bit of rocket there. I'm gonna get a bit of rocket off you, which is in here. So guys, I just got a little simple salad, which we're gonna serve on top of this. This is just a little bit of rocket. Any leaves are fine. You could use any leaves. I'm gonna get a little bit of my extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna put the lemon zest into this. As we say, we want to kind of always use the zest if we're using the lemon. Like so. And then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use half a lemon for our fish. I'm going to add a little bit of lemon to basically dress our... And this stew just needs one little thing. It just needs a little bit of red wine vinegar Jen. I was tasting it, it was absolutely lovely, but I know you would have been the first one to go, right, they need something else. So it needs a touch of, so any acidity in there, white wine vinegar, uh, red wine, uh, white wine, red wine vinegar, but just a couple of balsamic would be lovely. A couple of drops of that. And be here. Put it all stir. And then I'm gonna check our fish. Ready, that's not even a matter of about three minutes. Finish it now with a nice bit of lemon juice. Like so. And yeah, we're going to plate this up. I know you're hungry, so I'll get my. So I've got our lovely stew here. That makes loads, doesn't it? Really, really lovely. So a nice bit of the stew with the beans. And guys, I'm using chickpeas, any beans is fine. Bloody beans, cannellini beans, even, uh, what do you call them? Uh, kidney beans, did I say that? Yeah. And even uh, any beans you have, like so. Give us a little wipe. I've got a lovely piece of our fish. Don't drop it, like so. And it, this, all this lovely juice from the, the fish with the lemon. Keep all that, give it a little drizzle. And then, a nice bit of our kind of rocket. Looks lovely. 
So guys, that is my simple, beautiful Donegal prime fish uh, garnered with a little uh, chickpea and red pepper stew. Please enjoy.